two weeks ago, the European Commission ordered Apple to pay a record $14 billion in back taxes owed to Ireland. CEO Tim Cook called the decision total political crap and said it would upend the international tax system. Really? Paying the taxes you owe would overturn the world as we know it? Well, then bring it, brother. The EU's move is overdue. The four horsemen use their clout to avoid taxes, and people are fed up. Apple currently holds over $200 billion dollars in foreign profits overseas, meaning they own approximately $80 billion in back taxes. There are 100 million households in the U.S. that pay taxes, and I bet almost all of them love Apple, but I'm sure all of them don't feel they should pay an additional $800 each in taxes such that Apple can claim to fight the Taliban and pay for our schools with iPads and iTunes. Pay your damn taxes. A loser, Facebook, for its ham-handed attempt to circumvent ad-blocking software. Facebook is very motivated to protect its primary revenue stream, advertising, which reached $17 billion in 2015. Yet their solution was flawed on a couple levels. It disguised an attempt to gather more consumer data as a noble effort to serve better ads, and it disabled ad blockers without explicit permission to do so. The approach failed to address the real issue, advertising fatigue, and the poor quality of most digital advertising. The advertising industrial complex is coming to an end. Advertising has become a tax that poor people pay for 20 bucks a year. We should be able to opt out of your shitty advertising, Facebook. A winner, live streaming, and more evidence of the death of the advertising industrial complex. 15% fewer people watch the Olympics on NBC TV this year, and primetime viewership was down 34% among the all-important 18 to 34-year-old demographic. But when NBC Universal handed over its Snapchat account to BuzzFeed, it garnered 2.2 billion views over the two weeks. Users on Snapchat engaged six times more with live video than recorded video. YouTube has seen 80% growth of live video year on year. Facebook has moved its live button to the top left-hand corner so you can't miss it. A winner, teamwork. Everyone's been talking about the individual Olympic medalists, including Usain Bolt and Michael Phelps, but we want to highlight the unsung heroes, the U.S. women's coxed eight rowing team. In Rio, the boat won its third gold medal and 11th consecutive world title. I don't know how many CEOs and chairmen out there and founders like me recognize that it's women with competitive excellence and grit in their background that are running their firms. It's the guys with outdoor plumbing that are holding us back. Anyways, Caitlin Snyder, Amanda Elmore, El Logan, Megan Musniki, Tessa Gobo, Lauren Schmetterling, Amanda Polk, Carrie Simmons, and Emily Reagan, you make us proud. I rode at UCLA my sophomore year, as I like to think of it, my morning ritual to return to the sea, the alcohol I'd ingested just a few short hours before. We'll see you next week.